Hi, Pixel Pedant here. I'm going to be playing and narrating a full playthrough of Return to Pirate's Isle for the TI-994A home computer. We do not have a printer connected. What that's asking is whether we want to print out everything that happens to a printer for our personal records. And no, that is not a feature we'll be taking advantage of. Be pretty wasteful of paper, but I guess a good way to keep track of your progress and be able to backtrack. And we are not reloading an old game. Okay, Too Dark to See, Adventure 14 by Scott Adams. For my mom, I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too fuzzy to see. And we'll be hearing a lot of that. Let's feel around. Okay, Mattress is soft. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too d fuzzy to see. So let's lift up the mattress. I found something. I got it. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too fuzzy to see. Let's get up. Okay, I can't see. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Everything is not exactly dark, but it's too fuzzy to see as it will be for quite some time. Too dark. How about, however, as far as seeing goes, let's wear our glasses. Okay, I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere, as it will ring and ring and ring for a while now. I'm in a ship's cabin. Some visible items. Painting. Bunk bed. Porthole. Helm. Ceiling fan. Obvious exits. Up and down. Let's go up top. I'm in a top bunk. Some visible items. Face mask. Diamond watch. Nice. Obvious exits. Down. So let's take the mask and take the watch. Then go down. Back to the cabin. Only the first four characters of any word are evaluated, so if I want to see my inventory, I can just type inv. I can type inventory if I want, but I don't need to. So among the items in my inventory right now are my glasses, which I'm wearing, my face mask, a booklet, diamond watch, and I hear an alarm clock ringing. So I'm going to read that booklet. Okay, I see how to make glue from Funori. Always important to know, I guess. So, let's drop the booklet, since we know everything it can teach us. Drop the watch. Drop the mask. Move, oh. Move the bed. We found something. Oop. Okay, so we've got a diamond ring now. But let's drop it for now. Oop. Drop ring. Look at the ceiling.
Okay, some visible items include a small button in the ceiling. Let's look at the fan there. And we'll push a button. Okay. Now we're going to look at the fan a whole bunch of times to waste some time until it's no longer turning. And it's going to be a few times, but we'll get there. Aha, I see. Large blade fan has stopped. I found something and I got it. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Okay. Let's turn the lights off now. And that brooch that we just got we're going to drop it. And we'll go down and down to the engine room. And check the ship's battery. Modern ship. The age of batteries. But also the age of sail, apparently. Okay, let's go to the engine. And we're on the engine. Let's look at it. And we found something and got it. And we now have a screwdriver. Let's go down from the engine. And back up to the cabin. It's just filled with items now, but let's unscrew the fan. Oh, I think not unscrew fan, but unscrew blade. There we go. Let's drop, drop screwdriver, which is going to be too long a word, but it doesn't matter because only the first four characters are evaluated. So it could be drop screw you for all that matters. Go up. Beautiful sight. Let's go to the dock. And go north. We're on a beach by a small hill. Some visible items. Sign. Well, let's read that sign. Welcome to the backside of Pirate's Isle. It's not a very nice name for it. Let's dig. I found something and I got it. So we've got rum now. Let's climb the hill. Jump up. Okay, I made it. I'm, I'm on top of a small hill. Some visible items. Narrow crack and rock. Sleeping pirate. Drop rum. Drop blade. Which can be blad because it doesn't matter past the first four characters. Though usually I do type the full word. Whoop. Drop crack. That likewise wouldn't have mattered. Drop crack. Or go crack. Doesn't matter. As long as the first characters are C R A C. Too dark to see. Go shed. 
take hammer, go north, dangerous move, okay, not if you know what you've got to do in the first place, too dark to see. Okay, let's look at this pirate that we've found ourselves. I see something and I got it. We now have a box. Let's look at the pirate again. And we now have a gold earring. Let's take the rum. Give it to the pirate. Go. Not run. Take rum. All right, have it. Give rum. Wake the pirate. It's okay, you've got rum. Don't freak out. He drinks his rum and he heads to work. That's all it takes. Let's go down. Sorry, to explore Pirate's Isle, you'll need adventure number two. Obvious exits, up. All right. Back on top of the hill. Jump ledge and fall. I'm on a ledge eight feet below. Go down. On a beach. Go east, on a rocky beach by the sea. So let's take a rock as a souvenir. Look at that rock, admire our item finding work, and it's covered in algae. So we're going to look at that algae. We found something. We now have a piece of amber. Go west. Go, so whoop. Go south. Go boat. And the alarm clock still rings. And go down into the cabin. And we have ourselves a drunken pirate at the helm. Well, presumably. Maybe the rum doesn't do it to him. Okay, let's drop some stuff. All our pillage. Now, we're going to do some handiwork. Make some glue. Okay, I made it. Glue the lens to my mask. In two words, tell me to, uh, tell me to, or in what? Okay. In that case, in mask, I want to glue the lenses into my mask. Okay. Now let's spit on the mask and wear it. And things ain't fuzzy anymore. The glory of modern optometry. Drop rim. Since we're using the lenses otherwise now, take painting. Remove frame, and look at that painting. 
I see a map on back, and I got it. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. Always ringing, ringing, ringing. Let's take another look at that painting. Okay, I see by edges. Other picture invisible beneath. Is visible beneath. I cleaned top one off. Yeah, uh, the engine here isn't fond of determiners. I cleaned top one off. I hear an alarm clock ringing somewhere. I mean, sometimes they're used, sometimes they aren't. Make up your mind, Commander Data. Okay, drop frame. Drop map. Open porthole. And drop mask. But without the mask, it is too fuzzy to see. That's okay. Go portal. Oop. Well, go port. Because we're lazy. I hear an alarm clock ringing. And everything's fuzzy. But we can squint to see a little better. And there, suddenly everything's clear. Okay, we were told about a raincoat just before this next text scrolled by, so let's take that. And it remains too fuzzy to see. Go see. Go boat. And it's a bit fuzzy out there indeed. Replicating the sense of having improper optometry. Go down. Dangerous move. Okay, I can't see. Spit mask. To clean it up a bit. Spitting on things, it's how you fix them. Wear the mask. And that looks more like it. Wrap the painting. And this is one of these times when it asks us for further detail, and it's a two-command sequence, so wrap painting in raincoat. Go up. Go dock. Well, that's not one word. I'm on a dock. Go see. I'm in a sea. And we're going to have to tell ourselves to hold our breath because we're not smart enough to just do that. I can't figure that out on our own. You want me to hold my breath, I need to be told. So hold breath. Arg. Swim down. And we're under sea. Swim east, and there's a strange current, and swim up, and we're at the underside of the dock. We're going to go to the dock, and we're on a beam under the dock. We're going to look at that beam. We found something, and we now have a diamond pin. We're also going to take the dollar here. We're going to go down again, 
But before we go underwater, we're going to have to tell ourselves to close our mouth, because otherwise that's just not something that our brain figures out. So hold, hold your breath. Good. Okay, now swim down. Arg. Swim west. Everything is followed by an arg, as it should. Go to the dock. Go to the boat. And the alarm rings still. And go to the sea. And once again, another pleasant little dip. So hold our breath, always. Proper swimming safety. Don't breathe water. It doesn't work. Okay. We feel the boat, and we've opened up a large opening by feeling it. This is some shoddy construction, this boat. I question what's going on here with this boat. Let's feel the silt here as well, and we got something. Well, And we got an oyster. Swim to the opening and go into the boat. And the alarm rings still. So let's drop our stuff. Our dollar, our pin, our oyster. Whoop, drop oyst. And our mask. And in so doing, make it too fuzzy to see. Love how it messes up the graphics in that way, because you can't see. So we'll go to the crawlway in the darkness without our glasses and squint to try to see what's going on. And that's a little clearer. I can't see. Well, I can, kind of. Go east. Squint. And that's what we see here. Alarm clock. Sign. And we found the clock. Our nemesis. Defeating the clock is really what this game's about. So we'll take the clock, the bastard, once and for all, as well as the sign. Go west. Dangerous move in the dark. Go west again. And spit on our mask, because spit makes everything better, apparently, and uh, wear a mask. And we can see, let's read that sign that we got. I see leave treasures here, score. Okay. So yes, we leave them in our treasure hold. Let's drop the sign. Got the message and ask what our score is. So our score is 15 right now. Let's take the oyster. Drop the clock, that bastard clock. Finally defeated. And let's save the game. Uh, disc one, 
as I do have disks here as um, pirate isle save, PI save. And the light blinked, so that worked. Okay, let's go into the pool. Hold our breath as we always do. And swim down. East. Into the strange current and up. Go to the boat, to the dock before us, and we are on the dock. So let's go to the sea. As we're going to swim down again, so let's hold our breath. And swim down. Swim east. and find ourselves a snail. So with that in hand, let's open the oyster we have. with the snail in order to get a pearl now in our inventory. But that done, we can drop the oyster. Good eaten, but we just wanted the pearl and the snail. And go back to the dock. And to the boat where we are now on deck and down into the cabin. Which is just full of stuff now. So let's take the hammer and the box to attempt to alleviate that. As well as the amber, the earring. Whoop. That'll do. Only the first characters are looked at. I vary in whether I can be bothered to write all of them out. Take paint for take painting. And back up. And to the sea where a pirate belongs. R. Hold our breath. R. And swim down. west into the strange current and into the opening in the ship which I created by feeling it. I don't know how that works it's just a thing that happened. So let's go back into the boat and drop some booty. The amber, the pearl, it's a pirate's life for me. The watch. The ring. The ear. The brooch. Or brooch, I think it's pronounced, but oh well. The painting. Oh, I, do I need to, um, I 
Yeah, I think I need to unwrap the painting first. Oh, not unwarp it. Then drop the painting. Open the box. And what's my score? 76 out of a possible 100. Not bad. Let's save game there. Just in case, let's go to the pool. Hold her breath. Swim down. East. Up. And go to the boat. Because there it is. Go down into the hold. And drop the items which we no longer need. The hammer and the box. Whoop. And the raincoat that we'd wrapped the painting in. We'll take the map, go down, start the engine, go up, and sail the ship, because that's a pirate what a pirate does, I assume. But it was a long trip, and night fell. So it's dark. Let's go down. Stop the engine. Go up. Turn on the lights in our modern uh, indoor lighting equipped pirate ship. And we can see again. Whoop. Go up. Go see. Hold our breath as we do. Swim down. Always strange currents everywhere, but here there's a pirate ship. So let's go to that ship. And there's a jeweled chest. Well, I take chests. I'm a pirate, so I'm going to take this one. And try to swim away with it, I guess. Go to the boat. Down into the hold. I mean, they say ship's cabin, but I feel like a hold is more of a piratey thing for it to be called. I am not an expert. That's just a thing I've decided. We're going to turn off the lights. Go down. Start the engine. And then stop it again. Just to uh, give the battery a little juice. And then go back up. Not that we can see anything. However, if we turn on the lights, we can. And we'll go back to the sea, because we like swimming. It's a thing we do. So down. And west, arg, and towards the opening in that ship. 
in my ship, which doesn't seem to be causing it to um, sink for some reason. So we've got this chest here, and we see something and we got it. Rare book. So let's drop that book, drop the chest, go back in the pirate jacuzzi here, hold our breath, hold breath, his breath needs to be hold, held, whoever breath is, arc, and swim down. Good thing I didn't swim down after holding breath. Wouldn't have done me any good. Behold the boat. Let's go there. And go down. And behold our pirate hold. Let's turn off the lights. Go down. Start the engine. Go up. It's dark, but we're going to try sailing it anyways. And okay, we succeeded in doing so. Go down, whoop. Stop the engine. Go up. You'd think I'd, I don't know, have pirate employees to start and stop the engine at my whim, but Oh well, these are trying times. Let's go to the dock. And northward. And east. And to the sea, for we stand on a rocky beach. So we'll hold our breath. We are in a sea. And swim down. Ah. We'll feel around in the silt rather than the sit. And we find something. Namely, doubloons. Which are a form of currency, I think. A piratey form of currency. Let's go back to the beach. Go west. Go south. Go boat. And we're back on deck. Let's go to the sea. And one last little swim, hold our breath, swim down, west once again and towards the opening once again. And into the boat. So, let's read that book we got here. Okay, I see it's on ophthalmology. Squinting can help with myopia. Hint, hint. And we have squinted our way to quite a bit of success here. So, let's drop the doubloon. That was not spelled anything like doubloon. Okay, check our score. And it is 100. 
congrats. And here is a congratulations banner to tell us how well we did. 13 treasures stored. Scale of 0 to 100, that's 100. Congrats, you did it. I'm in a smuggler's hold inside a ship. Some visible items, rare stamps, doubloons, piece of amber, pool of water, alarm clock, diamond. Watch. Sign, Rembrandt painting, very narrow crawlway, gold earring, rare book, diamond brooch, jeweled chest, silver dollar, pearl, diamond pin, and diamond ring. Game over. Why to replay? Success! Thank you for joining me for this, folks, and it's been fun taking this easy little ride through Return to Pirate's Isle, which uh, would not have been quite so easy back in the day, but I did not have this card back in the day, so it wasn't an ordeal I went through. I'm sure I would have had fun with any amount of the game I was able to play if I did have the good fortune to have it back in the day. Anyway, have a good one.